All right, we are live. What is up, guys? Take care. Welcome back to some more Ark Survival Evolved on the Xbox One. We are uh, hanging out in our our cozy but empty little outpost here. Um, we were ready for a day's um, hard work, I guess. Um, let's bring you up to date on what is going on right now. So we left off having explored out way out in that direction. We kind of went towards that obelisk. Uh, we discovered a rock point there on the map, and we we're kind of looking to hang out in that area a little bit, find a place to maybe um, maybe build a house or check out the obelisk. I think today my plan is to build a house. Uh, but we also managed to tame... Um, whoa, there we go. We also managed to tame um, a raptor, which was this guy, uh, which was Gizmo, my first raptor. Um... Raptors are cool. They're really quick and they're a great way to get you from one area of the map to another. Uh, they're also really good at pick collecting hide and raw meat as well. Uh, and then here we actually got a little bit lucky because we found Gizmo. Uh, looks like he needs a level up too. We found Gizmo. What would we want to level up for you? Probably your health. Uh, we found Gizmo and we also found Junior and we got a little bit lucky with these guys because they were both... Uh, oh, why are you holding on to my spears? Big spears, big stone arrows. And we will increase your health as well. We actually found these guys up out in that direction on the other side. They're actually stuck in trees. Um, are actually the reason why is because when you're riding dinosaurs you can go forward. You can actually go backwards. But AI-controlled dinos actually do not go backwards. Um, uh, they just, they're just not allowed to go backwards. They just take going forwards or moving to the side. And sometimes when they get stuck, all they need to do is just move backwards. But for some reason, they don't go backwards um, when they're not controlled by humans. Um, found a bunch of dillos as well. I think I had this all on the uh, last stream that I did. We have Sally, Dally, Illy, and Dilly. Just a bunch of dillos here hanging out. I'll level these guys up a little bit later. Um... We also have Leo. Uh, my, we have another tr couple trikes here that I um, that I teamed that were kind of around this area as well. I wanted to get myself up to uh, level 34, so I just wanted to tame some of these guys. Level them up. Uh, and then we have a couple of parasaurs here that we also tamed as well. So we've got a nice little pack of dinos here uh, that we can have some fun with a little bit later on. But I think what I want to do... Oh god, there's another Spinosaurus there. I don't want to fuck around with him again. But I think we might actually have to. Because he actually fucked But it's a little bit dangerous. So what bow is this? Stone bow. And then we have our tranquilizer bows. I don't want to tame him just yet. We actually got a lot of thatch, a lot of fiber, and a lot of wood. And the reason why is because instead of walking out in that direction, kind of the same way we did last time. I think today what I want to do is I think I want to build the uh, wooden raft, which is this one. We wanted to build this one last time because we wanted to cross the river across from Rock Point. But we didn't actually have the materials, in particular the hide, so I think it was probably a better idea that we uh, waited until, um, until we got back here. So I think that's one of the things I want to build, but we're going to be hanging out in this water the spino is going to be a little bit of a problem for us, I think. It might be an idea for us to take him out. What are we thinking here? I actually put the crosshair on as well. I don't think you guys can see that on screen. Uh, it was getting a little bit annoying. When you aim these things, they don't actually aim where you think they would aim. So I would think it would aim at the end of the arrow there. I'm in a straight line. You can see it's a little bit off-center. Same with this thing. It's a little bit off-center as well. Um... And so I kind of wanted to make sure that we got that stuff right. I want to take this guy on. You know what we need to do first? Let's build a raft first. I've actually got a ton of stuff on me. Um, I actually did a lot of kind of prepping for the house build. I have a rough idea of what I want to build in mind. And I put a lot of stuff onto my uh, turtle here. So she's hanging on to 20, 21 wood foundation and then 27 thatch foundation so uh she's pretty much ready to go uh with this stuff so whenever we're ready to move we're gonna we'll put some of this stuff on her right now i think she's completely overweight but 
You don't actually need her to move from this position right now. Uh, what do we need for the raft? We need a lot of work. You know what? Let's take that wood back. No, not take it back. We'll take this one back. Uh, what else do we need? We need wood and we need some hide. Okay. Keep wanting to take, keep an eye on that parasaur because he did kind of creep up on us last time. Sorry, the spinosaur because he did kind of creep up on us last time. Alright, let's grab the hide. I'm sure we have plenty of hide in here somewhere. There you go, there's 200 hide in there. I got a ton of stuff from nearby, um, uh, nearby supply drops. There's actually a purple supply drop that drops, like, right in behind here. Uh, at the, kind of the middle of the bay. And there's one that drops at the end of the bay here too, so. We got pretty damn lucky. Um, with that kind of stuff. So we're getting some actually really good, uh, supply drops. Here, so we got a couple of these irrigation things here too. Um, irrigation pipes. No idea how these work. Uh, crop plant. A small crop plot we got from the supply drops as well. This kind of stuff, I want to experiment more when I actually have like a proper base or building um, built up. I don't really want to experiment around here too much. Alright, what do we need here still? We need more wood, eh? I think we might just tap ourselves out with all the wood. I am overweight right now. We still short? Uh, still short. Anything within a distance? Oh, good. Alright, we have this stuff. So we'll take this, take this, we'll go ahead and make ourselves a wooden craft. What a slow build. Oh, that's interesting. That's just said here that I can support the weight of structures and be built on. So I can actually build on a raft. Okay, it's kind of Maybe you can have some fun with this. Am I still overweight? I am overweight. Let us put... No, not you. Let us come in here and put the hide away. Let's put the wood away as well. Fiber. With thatch. We'll dump the narco seed. We don't really need it right now. Thatch will put away. Hide will put away as well. What is that? There is a Toronodon glitching in the middle of my base. Okay. Right, let's see how this works then. Let us go down to our wooden raft. How do I put this down? Why won't it let me put it down? What? I'm a bit confused. Use it. Do I have to actually be in the water to drop it, maybe? There we go. Oh, I like that. That's cool. What are my options? I can drive, hide, sail, change name, demolish, and unclaim raft. Oh, that's pretty Over there, a lot easier. We can't reverse, can we? No. Bit awkward to can I don't know if I can beach this thing or not, but we'll do we'll leave it here ish. Get off of it. Uh I'll have to interact with this part? Okay. What does hide sail do? Oh. Alright, we'll do that for now. Uh, okay, so I think now with this, what we can do... Where's Mike? Let us start loading up. I think I'm going to take two of my raptors with me. We'll take Razor, because he's our higher level one. And then we'll also take Gizmo. I don't think... Oh, you can move. Okay, good. I thought you might have been a little bit overweight. Did, uh, where's Gizmo? There's Gizmo. Let me give you some stuff. Your weight is really low. Not too worried about that. Let's give you... What do I need to take with me? Um, 
Let's actually put the spears back down on my hotbar, because we might need those. We ended up coming across quite a lot of shit down by that side of the map last time we were there. We'll take the wooden club off. Um, there's like, there a couple more raptors that, that were out there. There was obviously the... Um, there was obviously a couple of scorpions I think we saw too. Um, what else do we need? If we're going to be building... I want to build with stone too, but hold on to the stone. I actually went ahead and learned a lot of the engrams for some of the other building parts too. Um, so wooden door frame, um, wooden window frame, stone walls, stone door frame, stone windows. Um, there were, so a lot of the building engrams that we learned, that we had, we actually just went ahead and learned them ahead of time. Just so I have an idea of all the different kind of pieces I can use, put together. And I think I'm going to build a, kind of a two-story, uh, but double walled. So this will be like, this is one wall, that's double wall. So that will be one floor and then we'll build two, two floors on top of it as well. Uh, so I think what I need to do right now, can I first of all... Can I put you onto the raft? Is that a thing? Okay, it is a thing. It's good. Can I move the raft with you on it? Okay, great. I can. All right, sweet. So what we need to do is I think we need to transfer some of that, some of that foundation for our base onto. Mike, for sure. If we need to bring another trike along, we will. I don't want to take too many dinosaurs, because what I found is when I'm exploring with dinosaurs, a lot of these guys actually get stuck. Which is kind of annoying. Uh, and this will probably put me over numbered. That's fine. Can I still move? I can. Where's Mike? Uh, go down on this side. There we go. Let's put you down there. Oh, you can carry a lot, can't you? We got some standing torches too, that's good, so we can illuminate ourselves at night time. Um, and Mike, take the thatch foundation too? We need the storage box, it's kind of important. Uh, no, can't do that. Um, drop half of it. Get it into Mike's inventory. He's got a lot of weight. Pick this up. Put that down as well. So 27 thatch foundation. Uh, it's probably a few too much. And then we also have um, the wood foundation, which I think 7, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20. You might actually be short a few wood foundation pieces of oh, Um I just wanted to do a lot of that collecting before we got to the... Um, before we got over there, because that stuff is obviously the most tedious part of the process. Uh, we'll take the fiber and the thatch. And the fiber and the thatch. We're just going to take the tinto berries, split them in half, and notice that this level 10 parasol running a little bit low on food. Speaking of food, do we have food on us? No. Yeah, we'll go ahead and grab some. Alright. Flare gun, we don't actually need that either. Uh, let's put the flare gun on Gizmo. Gizmo can actually carry some of the fiber. Some of the thatch. More, more fiber. Maybe even the hide. Maybe even the stone. Maybe even the thatch as well. Because she's doing okay for weight. Arrows will keep a hold of. Okay. Uh, now if I'm going to be going over there. I'm going to need some flint. Which I have. Because that will help me repair a lot of the tools I need. Um, let's grab some food. Uh, preserving bin should have my food in it. There we go. Take that. Take that. 
Yeah, I also got a hundred narcotic. I don't actually need all that many. I'll split that in half if you will we'll leave some behind. Just in case something goes wrong. Alright, we've got the food here now. Uh, anything else I need to take with me? I think with the watercraft, it'll be a much easier to um, get back and forth, which would be nice. But even if I don't actually get all this stuff with me, you know, I'll take the sleep as well. Um, I don't need anything in this one. <laughs> Don't need anything here. I do need some more thatch. We'll take some more thatch for this anyway. Can I get back? I can. I can do this. Oh, Gizmo's still hanging out outside. Hello, creepy. Um, there found a ton of more blueprints. So the couple of water jar, um, blueprints, and then we also have the um. Metal blueprint here as well. I actually have quite a lot of this, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna take the stone with me as well. And I think that should be it. And our first light, I think, will be good to go. Uh, we'll do. Uh, boots. For thermic insulation, minus five. As the area that we're going to is a bit more jungly, I think we'll just put it on. That was in our Okay. So. Let's get Mike onto our. Oh, yeah, you're too old. Can you move, though? Without me on it, you should be able to. Hold up. Yes, Mike can move. He's a bit slow, though, isn't he? Oh, maybe he can not. He's okay. So like there's a turtle in the water over there, so maybe this Spinosaurus on board? Will they come on board this thing on their own? Gizmo will. Come on, Mike. You can do it. Hello. Mind your business. Gizmo's on. I don't know if Mike is going to be able to get out. There goes my torch because I'm in the water. Am I really that heavy? No, I am. Okay. Mike is in super slow mode. But in fairness, he is carrying the bulk of our our new base, so we can manage with that. Sure. There's something else flying around. Alright, Mike, you stop there. Gizmo, yeah, I might not be able to ride you, Gizmo. Can I ride you? You stuck? There we go. I wonder if I'm going to be able to keep these guys on here while I do this. Oh, you know what I can do? I don't know why I didn't do this earlier, but if it says I can build on it. Um, you there. You come to me. Can I just pop this down here and use it? <gasps> Looks like I can. That's handy. Okay, let's do this one. It's this way. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. But you guys. And I'm assuming these wooden rafts have no sort of weight limit or anything. So, put that in there as well. I could drop some stone here. What's that? Well, that's handy. Okay, it's a much better way. But I don't have to break. 
Uh, I'll put the stone in there as well. So I want to build something that's kind of a hybrid of stone, wood, and a little bit of thatch. Now that we're a little bit more comfortable with um, building. Um, I think that'll be good. And then where's our... I love one. Oh, there he is. There's a razor there. Getting awfully crowded on this thing, but I'm gonna manage. So I guess the sail bit. Can I even drive this and figure out? Oh, yeah, I totally. I totally. No problems at all. I didn't want to do that. Get off. Can't see the Spinosaurus. Hey, the, the try kind of acts as a a sort of viewpoint on this thing. Eh, it all works. Uh, let's put this away. All right, I think we're ready to go. Only question I have left is, do I want to take any more dinos with me? I don't think so. I don't think I do. Need anything else with me? You might as well fill up these... Water skins. I'm gonna be stopping using of the water skins soon because I'll be able to use other things. I wonder if I should just maybe bring a little bit of wood with me as well. Even though I do have trikes, I actually didn't realize, but trikes are actually a fantastic as well. They can just back trees and stuff and get you a um whatever it is that you might need. Take the hide. Take the wood. Uh, we'll take some more hide. We actually have plenty of storage space. I think we're good to go. How far we're going, nobody knows. I have a feeling that we haven't seen the last of that spino. Okay. Try anyway. Just in case we get of our bow out. We put our spears that we did. You guys move? Oh, we can move. We can move. We're moving. Now, is it actually better to hide the sail, I wonder? Do I get less control? Oh boy. He's right there. You know what? We're gonna go right past him. My flame, my frames are tanking right now. I'm not gonna even stop to check what he's up to. We are a pack on a mission, and I'm gonna be nosy and I'm gonna talk to I can't see him. That's good. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Uh, I was the supply, but I really don't want to right now. Alright, so it doesn't look like the sail actually has any benefit or penalty. Um, which is kind of cool. No sign of the spino. Okay, that's good. Well, that's actually pretty decent. Um, if he's still there later on, maybe we can try and tame him. I just kind of had a pretty precious moment in this game right now. And I don't actually want to end up in a situation where I do anything dumb or stupid. Attacking a spino while you have bunch of your cargo <laughs> ready for movement stupid right, so there's rock point there right ahead of us um and i think this was the island here ahead of us that we were actually looking at should we go more inland i actually have no idea if dinosaurs can attack us on this thing um but we are moving at a pretty brisk speed so actually you know what Let's just make sure you get all on past so in case anything does it. You guys aren't doing any stupid maneuvers. In Look at all this open land. You know what? We went to land over here somewhere last time. We crossed further ahead, and that's where all the raptors and stuff are. I wonder if... Coming out this way. It'd be a little bit... But that snow mountain in the distance is so cool. I can't wait to check that out. Uh, should we dock this bad boy here? I think we're going to. 
And I don't want to beach it. We'll leave it here. Look at all this open land. I might actually just build here. There's another raptor up there, isn't there? Raptor. Is that a parasaur? Looks like a parasaur. Okay. Let's get off here. Now, will you guys obey me? No, did that not work? Uh, follow all. And it was something in neutral. Good shit. So, what I want to do, where is Razor? Uh, who needed a level? Not you. You? No, not you either. Is it you? It was you. Uh, your health is pretty high already, level 38. Let's put more into your stamina. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Ready to go? I'm ready to go. Uh, which way should we check? Let's head out this way just a little bit. I'm hot. Take off. That and the shirt. Take off the gloves. Out. Showing off all that hard work. Uh, I just want to kind of do a quick patrol here because... Um, last time we did the island further up this way. There were scorpions and raptors and all sorts. Our small little outpost was right out that way. That was our temporary up. Um, let's see. Any? Are you guys still following me? Yeah. I'm good. All right. I think we came across like right here. So I think we're actually okay. There's a couple of turtles there too. Okay. It looks like we're okay. So it doesn't look like there's anything crazy here on this side. Are you stuck? See, this is why I hate taking dinos out. Oh jeez, this is why I hate it. I'll stop. So it trikes in particular because they're so big and bulky. They're really, really annoying. It actually doesn't look like we can get them out. But the good thing is, we should just be able to. There we go. Just knock all these things down. See the way you just knocks trees down. That's the really good thing about having these guys. We don't actually need all these berries. We'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of the stems, the hammer, bijo. Get rid of the seeds, the seeds, and the seeds. We'll keep the narcos. We'll use those. Who are we riding? Was it your razor? I kind of like this section up here. What I need is I need a wide enough section that will allow me to build outwards as well, in case and eventually one I do want to expand. But I need it to be that I can get um, a large portion of my actual base down on the ground, because sometimes the uneven elevation is going to... I should really avoid trees, otherwise that guy's going to get stuck all day. This actually looks like quite a wide open area, so I wouldn't mind... Eventually building here. It does look a bit hilly though. Is there a dino up here? No. Oh, look at all this open area too. Yeah. Maybe I build here. And I can have this little hill as my backdrop. Will that be kind of cool, I think? Get you out of the Um. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, boys. Decisions, decisions. This area looks a little bit hilly as well. There's been big divots in here and stuff. I don't really want to build on that because it's going to be a little bit Let's build kind of where we put our raft down. I think this might actually be like trial and error. I have a feeling we're going to have to put things down and then have to take it out, rebuild and all that kind of stuff. Which is why I'm glad we brought some wooden thatch with us as well. Because if we do struggle, 
Particularly with the wooden foundation, if we do struggle, it means we can just build up a bit more. Even this site looks quite illy as well, doesn't it? Maybe we'll build here, and we'll make kind of rock point out. Our front area. I think that might work pretty nicely. Come out this way. It's still a bit hilly here. It goes really flat here. Very flat here as well. Okay. Look at that. I was hot a minute ago, and now I'm cold. Uh, can I just put this on? No. Gloves. Oh. Alright, that was a bit weird, but... And then what I need is I need you, sir. Hey, stop following now. Actually, you know what? I need you guys to follow. I don't want to hurt you. You guys come out this way. Now... So I'll stop and I'll get... Mike. Clear all this stuff out. Uh, we'll leave. Uh, okay, let's put this one. And let us. Okay, relax. Relax. Okay. So I think, well, can we? I probably can't take all of it, can I? Um, can I just go move? No, I can't. Okay. Fine. We'll put the thatch away. From thatch away. And move, and then I'll put the wood foundation in place of the wooden club. Where do we start? Let us break some ground. Our brand new property. Is that? I look like a multicolored one. That was weird. Um. You know what, I think the best way to do it is just to put shit down and eventually just figure it out, so let us start. I want to leave myself a little bit more room each side. See, even this looks a bit too hilly. I'm worried that we won't be get it quite the way we need. But, let's see what happens. Start with you. You've broken ground. Alright. One, two, three, four... Six. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Which side looks hillier, hillier, hillier? That side. Go seven there. Three, four, five for sure. I think we're probably going to need a bit more, though. Four. Five. Sure. We might actually need another one on either end. So we are going to be short the wood. That's fine. Because we do have some wood with us. Um... Get the patch found it. I'm over and covered. That back. Let's put the patch foundation. There. Really? Uh. Can I access you from here? No, I can't. Okay. Let's do that. And I think I'll have a better idea of what I need. So we want one. Perfect, and then we need one, two, five. Okay, so maybe this did work out. Okay, I think this worked out pretty well. Um, yeah, I think this is good, boys. I think this is good. I think this is real good. So let's finish the thatch off, because I do think we have enough of the thatch. Do you have enough of the thatch? We are not over encumbered. We are not over. Good shit. 
I do think we're going to need a bit more of the wood there, there, and we can throw this all. Like so. Two on either side, two on either side. I might leave that open just for now. I do have five pieces, so I don't need one, two, three. I do have five extra pieces. Now, do I want to close this off now? I think I do. Uh, I am going to be short a little. Let's get rid of you. Let's get you back down. We're short two. What do I need? Uh, wooden foundation. I need wood, thatch, and fiber. Wood being the limiting reagent here, because I don't know if I have enough. You've got some. Take that, take that, and now you. Whoops, and we will also take. Uh, oh yeah, we're good. I don't have actually any fiber on. Did I leave the fiber behind? Must have left. Oh, actually, you know what? I didn't leave. Them. I think I gave it to one of you guys, didn't I? Uh, no. Uh, there it is. I am somewhat prepared here. Alright, so this will give me... Where are you? One. Probably need a bit more wood, right? 40 more pieces of wood, okay. I can do that, no problem. Plenty of wood around us. Oh, you know what? I need two more. One, two. And plenty of thatch, plenty of fiber. Okay, so I need about 80 pieces. Let's head for the books. I'll get done here, and then I think I'll probably get two. Is um, wow, we don't actually need all these berries. I think we might. Just as a product of the wood? Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll get the foundation done. And then I think what I'm going to do is I think I will do much of the building kind of off camera. Just so that the process of collecting resources isn't ridiculously tedious. And I'll probably turn the resource gather rate up as well. Because as much as you want to be all realistic and, and all that kind of... Do I get a lot more out of these trees? Uh, six thatch, six wood on these much bigger trees. How does that make any sense? No. Long way to go. Um, yeah, I think as, as kind of realistic in all survival mode as, as we want this to be, I think we also want it to be some joy. Well, spending all your time hitting at things for stone and thatch and wood isn't really all that fun. Thankfully in single player, I think it's actually really great that they've included a lot of personal set single player stuff. Um, so we can up the gather rate. Are we doing any sort of uniform destruction of this forest? I can't actually see which way going. Which way is the shoreline? This way. I'm so lost. This way. I think. Where are we? Okay, yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Lower the camera. Yeah. I do have resource uh, respawn rates. Um, I think it's on high. The sliders are a little bit diff difficult because they do tell you like one end is like a low value and one end is a high value, but it doesn't actually tell you which end is the value for, say, um, the speed that you want. So, for example, if I wanted a high respawn uh, rate, it just says, like, respawn rate or respawn period, and then it gives you a slider with two values. It doesn't actually tell you which one is higher or low. Intuitively, I put my value to high. Are we still not? Oh, right. Okay. 
that's my mistake. I don't have access to the wood, is because the wood isn't actually on me. So we'll do that, and we'll do that, and that should allow us to build at least a grudge. Um, it doesn't actually, a lot of it is, is trial and error, but I haven't really been able to experiment settings just yet. But I would hope that these, a lot of these smaller trees too, they kind of add like a cool little look to this beach. So I would hope that they respawn at some point soon. I've kind of taken like a big chunk of this forest. I move out this way. Wait is okay on Mike. I am going to dump a bunch of those berries. We don't a massive tree like that just give you two or three pieces of wood each. More thatch than wood from this guy. So he's acting like a like a super pickaxe or whatever, but it still ends up being much quicker than farming it on my own, and it still ends up being a lot safer. Well, not safer, but a lot better for my tool preservation as well. I hope a lot of this shit does. Do now. Um, how do I access you again? Uh, uh, I have wood. That's take the wood out. Oh, actually, that should be good. All right, good stuff. Let's head back. That's actually dumb. All the berries you don't need. Uh, I think that's a level up for me. Or is that a level up? Got a lot of slough thatch on you, Mike. Keep that on you for now. It may come in handy. Looks like it's a level up, for Mike. Um. Here's your movement speed. Let's also finish off the foundation for our um our little property here. Oh, I don't need one. Okay, perfect. So I was kind of worried that with a slightly hilly surface, we weren't really going to be able to uh, fit all of it on. It worked out pretty nicely. Do I want to finish that off with thatch? Or do I want to maybe save that for some stone? I might just leave it open for now and then put something in the middle of it. But I think the plan here is if we kind of aim for the center, which is this piece here, I think we'll have a wooden door frame. Uh, then we'll put wooden walls and wooden windows kind of going up. Uh, four levels, and then it'll be, it'll be two levels per four. And then I think I'll build the outside as stone, the outside here on the, as stone, and then the rooftop will be probably be either wood or thatch as well. That's kind of the plan that I'm going for um, as I come back here. Yeah, I think it'll look quite nice and tall as well. And actually, we've actually left ourselves plenty of property out here as well, so we can maybe build out uh, a bit of a farming section out in this area here. Uh, maybe come back out this way and build a bit of a dino pen so we can let some of these dinos roam um, without having to worry about um, without having to worry about them kind of escaping and at least that way they can uh, do their mating stuff as well oh, well, let go uh, we can do some of our uh, dino mating out here as well, uh, and then I think with this this huge this huge section of property too, we can start putting down some of the surfaces that we need. Um, and I might just go ahead and learn the engrams now. Um, things like the cooking pot. I'll go ahead and learn. Um, we are going to need cementing paste and gunpowder. We'll come back to that. A gravestone. Maybe we can make a gravestone for uh, Era Morris and put it down by our outpost there. Um, large storage boxes are definitely something that we're going to need. Compost we can use when we're getting into the, uh, the farming a little bit. Feeding trough, I'm assuming, does the same thing here as well. There's some hide clothing that we'll come back to. Trophy base, not so much. Um, 
reinforced wooden door. That might be nice one to pick up. Uh, the smithy is something that we're going to need as well. Um, a lot of this stuff requires you, like a lot of the more upgraded stuff, the metal pick, the metal hatchet, the pike, um, the crossbow, I think, requires the smithy as well. Large bear trap. Was there, there was a couple more things that I saw. Um, no? Maybe not? Maybe not, but anyway, that's an idea of kind of where we're Oh, a sword. Maybe we'll grab that. Maybe first trap to me for a go. Better ring. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff here that we can kind of build out put down on the ground smith you can put down on the ground as well i think i already learned the ford oh, there it is refining forge we'll go ahead and learn that as well uh, so i have some surfaces that i can start putting this stuff down on you know what just for now because it's on me i might as well go ahead and put that more down in the middle and if i want to change it afterwards I can But yeah, I think that is, uh, how many of these pieces I think of that for the most part, what I'll do is I'll just put one here, one, two, three, is this the centerpiece? Blank, one, two, go ahead and put one by the centerpiece there, just so we have an easy way, uh, just get it wrong, I think I just got it wrong. Did we get it wrong? Uh, one, two, blank, one, two, no, we're good. Okay. Out of here. So yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll probably build some of this up off camera, or at least collect resources off the stream. We'll build it up, at least the foundation, so the outer exterior up, and then we'll kind of figure out what we're gonna do. And then once we're kind of familiar with that stuff, then I think we will go and tackle um, whatever is in this obelisk. We'll go ahead and figure. It out. All right, but I think for now, I know it's a bit short today, but I think that is all for today. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Uh, take it easy.